Dave Hawes and uh, I work for Utenix, which is an independent driving game company based in the northeast of England and I'm a project manager for uh, one of our software development teams. Uh, basically, it was, you know, I'd always been passionate about games, always loved games, always played them a lot when I was a kid and you know, when I found out that was a, a viable uh, career, I studied for it and then I got into the industry and, and do, doing what I really love. I think one of the great things about working for an independent studio is you know, you know your boss um, and you get to work on a whole variety of, of different projects across uh, you know, many different genres and doing different things. So I think it's that, it's that variety and also knowing the guy who's ultimately in charge, you actually have a personal relationship with them. So I think that's, that's a real strong thing with being independent. I think uh, I'd, in terms of trying to get, get into the industry, I mean, it's, it's really different now, you know, with things like um, Xbox Live uh, indie game development and the Apple devices and stuff like that. So there's a real, there's a real route to uh, market for smaller companies now and for people to go independent, but there's still obviously uh, a lot of room for people in those doing that kind of work to then move into larger companies and work with those people like Utechnics uh, and take on work on AAA games on Xbox 360, PS3, PC, that sort of thing. I think uh, that is definitely part of the future. You know, it, platforms have, um, you know, Utechnics have been around for 24 years and platforms have changed throughout those 24 years and we've gone from working on, you know, 8 bit tape drives to CD to media to God knows what else. So, I think see Facebook and, and all those kind of social media platforms as another platform to do games on. You know, it's still the same stuff that we're doing. I mean, uh, Auto Club Revolution is a really big thing we're doing in the social MMO sphere at the minute, and that's and that's you know, it's just another avenue to work down to get games out to people. Sure. One of the interesting things is you see a drop in the in the box sales, um, but you're seeing an equivalent or bigger rise in digital distribution, online sales, again, social media type stuff. Um, so I don't think in any way games aren't going away at all and really even box product isn't going away It's just changing how it's delivered and, and the nature of it and the divisions within it um, But the, the industry continues to grow year on year Well, I mean the big thing for us um, Is definitely if you're doing art, it's a show reel. You need us absolute stand-up knockout show reel uh, and if it's programming then we're looking for a strong maths background and um, a really good demo. I mean, this is something that YouTube is fantastic for, is it lets us see you know, the work that people have been doing, and someone gives us a really strong demo, then, then that's what, that's what brings, brings people forward. But definitely, you know, have a good show reel or have a good demo, art or programming, that's, that's the way. We have uh, three games in development, two of which I can't really talk about. Uh, so I will tell you about the one I can talk about, which I say, it's the one I mentioned, Auto Club Revolution, which is a, basically, it's all about car enthusiasm. It's about owning cars, lots of licensed vehicles from many different manufacturers like uh, BMW, um, and being able to modify those cars online, paint them, uh, and uh, enjoy racing with your friends and all that kind of stuff. And that's all done through, through your PC. And that's Auto Club Revolution. We have a character-based game, which is being done in Unreal, and it's a kind of an action thing with guns and stuff, and I wish I could tell you more, but I can't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's an interesting thing. I mean, um, there are a lot of related industries to the game industry. I mean, it's quite weird. Um, like, there's a lot of stuff in the film industry, both programming and art. I was surprised to find out there's quite a lot of graphics programming happens in the film industry for doing special effects. Um, and another area that, that a lot of people can work in we, we do a lot of driving games, and there's actually a whole industry of automotive dynamics, which is basically uh, simulating cars for all the car manufacturers. They do all the modeling and design and development of new cars is now done on computers. So there's a lot of similar skills. Right at the other end, uh, places like the CERN and the LHC, they use uh, a lot of programmers there to do uh, simulation type stuff. So there's really a, a, a lot of different industries that have kind of touching, connecting bits to the games industry.